What's up, fellas? As you can see, it's nighttime, and uh, I'm back out here. Oh, shoot. I ain't got my helmet. Uh, you know what? I ain't even going to need it because I'm not getting on the road. Just going to ride around the neighborhood for a minute. I just want to talk a little bit. I know y'all tired of hearing me run my mouth, but uh, I got something to say. And the uh, thing is, I made two videos earlier today. Well, actually three if you think about it. But the two that I made specifically to upload on YouTube, I'm thoroughly pissed about <laughs> because I forgot to turn on the damn microphone. Jeez, just so much to remember, man. Especially with this e-bike shit, man. I, I got so many lights and shit to turn on. This camera this phone turn on that 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 so earphones helmet dash cam man so I, i'm always liable to forget something <laughs> but uh anyway yeah i i had just said some things in those videos that was kind of relevant but was the main point of my videos anyway. See them little lights right there, man? Them little uh, rechargeable lights, they actually pretty bright. If I didn't have any headlights, they damn near give me some headlights and they, they're basically just as bright as the headlight I do have because my actual headlight, the uh, Told you the center LED, the main light is burnt out because uh, unfortunately, when I first switched up the 72 volts, forgot about that damn thing, and uh, 72 volts killed it. wasn't ready. It wasn't designed for that. <sighs> I think it was a max of 60 volts that light could handle, and. Uh, what I've done now is I use one of those uh, step down converters that steps the voltage down to uh, 12 volt, 24 volt from 72. Right now I'm stepping it down to 24 volt. But anyway, what I wanted to discuss real quick, and this ain't going to be long, is. Uh, the whole main purpose of my channel is to show guys that they can do mods and make changes and make their bikes fast and increase their performance for the cheap. You know, not that everybody's going to be doing stuff for the cheap, but uh, yeah, it doesn't always have to cost an arm and a leg to do things and and me myself i'm just one of those people as i told you i never want to pay top dollar for any damn thing that's just me now if you got money galore you on the wrong channel and i'm sure there are plenty of other channels to suit you and your big money because this guy i watch them channels myself and i'm just amazed at the parts and accessories these guys buy and how much it costs and i just say to myself damn must be nice to to have that kind of money to just throw away oh maybe you ain't throwing it away if you if you got money like that but me, she, uh, yeah, it, everything's a, a little struggle, especially during this pandemic shit, you know, I, I mean, I ain't doing bad, but uh, like I say, I ain't got money to throw away, and then I would never, under any circumstances, just 
spend money unnecessarily. Okay, all that being said, there's another channel right now that is doing a conversion to 72 votes. In fact, there's quite a few. But this particular channel, uh, the guy just converted his e-bike to 72 volts. And he bought a kit, you know, where everything was included in the kit, even the battery. But this kit was like a little bit over 2,500 bucks. And, uh, hmm, you know, that, that's a no-go on my channel. 2,500 bucks is a whole nother e-bike for one thing. And being as though the bike that he's converting, he already paid $3,500 for the bike. We talking six grand. Now for six grand, he shouldn't have to convert a damn thing if that's how much he was going to spend on this bike. Because for one thing, he could have bought a bike from the beginning that already was qualified to do what he wants it to do, 72 votes. And in fact, in fact, he has other bikes. He has six and seven thousand dollar bikes. So I don't even understand why he did it. But uh, like I say, some people just got that money to burn. You know, if I if I got three or four bikes, unless for some reason the bike that he converted, he wanted that particular bike to be capable of high speeds and, you know, have a 72 volt system. But I mean, to me, if you got two other bikes or three other bikes that's already on 72 volts, that already haul ass. Go 60 miles an hour. I mean, uh, why spend 2500 to make a $3,500 bike do that? Anyway, I'm saying this to say that my conversion and upgrade, my build is getting pretty much the same results as his. And it cost me 500 bucks. 500 bucks to upgrade my bike to 72 volts. And that's if you do it the way that you've seen me do it and the steps that I've taken by using, you know, the battery system that I already have and you know, upgrading that to 72 volts without buying a brand new 72 volt system. I mean, that's where a lot of the cash goes right there. But here's this thing. His 72 volt system that came with that kit ain't even a 50 amp hour. See, I, you know, because of the way I did it, I got a big battery as far as capacity. A 50 amp hour and I, as I explained in that battery video uh, that light speed battery would cost 2500 three grand now the battery that comes in that kit that he got is only like a 20 amp hour something like that all right let's just give it 25 amp hour I don't think it's that but it's it's somewhere around 20 something so all right a 25 amp hour 72 volt battery should cost a good one like a light speed one would still be very expensive because I, I guess they use higher grade cells or whatever and then it's the name as usual and they just charge a lot of money for their batteries but I paid attention to what comes in that kit. And what comes in that kit that he has is just one of them old Chinese batteries that you could get off of Amazon. And uh, 
I don't think it costs no more than seven, eight hundred dollars. Okay, so we got seven, eight hundred dollars for uh, the battery. If I'm just breaking it down, and then uh, let's just say the convert the 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 motor kit and controller that comes with it, and it's a nice. It was the same one I just ordered. It's got that Sabaton 150 amp controller and uh, that QS273 motor, which is like a three or 5,000 watt motor, something like that. I think he says it's 5,000. I think it's only a 3,000 watt motor, but I mean, that 3,000 watt motor, you can, you can run whatever you want to run through that motor, to be honest. It can handle it. All right. Now, check this out. My bike is like I said, it's running like it's running, comparable to his. I spent five hundred dollars to convert it, and that's because I bought a cheap ass, wasn't even a seventy-two volt conversion kit. It just was a, a fat tire e-bike kit with a direct drive motor, a fifteen hundred watt direct drive motor. Let's remember the speeds I'm getting and everything right now. I'm I'm getting all that out of 1500 watt motor. And yes, I'm pushing some watts through this 1500 watt motor. It's probably the same amount of watts that he's pushing through that motor he has right now. Although his motor uh just like the one that I'm getting can be taken way beyond that. But you know, that would con you would have to buy a you know, a big old battery and all that to get 10 kilowatts, 12 kilowatts. You know, that's all that's all the based on your battery supply. And with this 50 amp hour, I could probably get those type of watts on that motor system. Now, the reason why I, I'm saying what I'm saying is because I ordered that same kit that he has from Alibaba and that it's not the same kit because he's got battery and all that in the box and all that that came with it. So he's got some more stuff that comes with it. But I'm just talking about the motor and controller kit from Alibaba for 700 bucks, right? 700 bucks. I just ordered that same kit with that motor I just explained. Okay, somebody cut me off with a text message that I don't want to hear right now. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, I think I was saying, oh, boy, I hate when I get cut off. Forget my train of thought. Um, yeah. I spent seven, eight hundred dollars on that kit that comes with the same controller and the same motor. All right. So. Uh, on this, on what I have now. I told you I spent $500. So that's a total of $1,200 that I've spent that I already have that same performance, but I've ordered another kit on top of that and still have only spent $1,200, less than half of what he paid for his one kit. That's why I'm telling you, when you DIY stuff, or take the time out to research and do things for the lowest cost possible, you save a lot of money. So uh, like they used to say when you were a kid, knowledge is power. And that's all I'm saying. Now, if you got it like that, that you can spend 2,500 bucks, have at it by all means but if you're that little kid or that guy that's struggling right now you ain't got the money you know but you want the performance you want you want a fast e-bike too everybody wants a fast e-bike everybody wants a nice e-bike and everybody damn sure can't afford it you know even what I have right now, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere that is not doing as good as what I'm doing. And this is just a dream to them. 
but it don't have to be a dream because I'm I'm doing stuff for the bare minimum. Because I'm trying to help people that don't have it like that. And, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to help people out there that's in my situation and, and want to have nice things, too. So that's that. That's basically all the message I wanted to get across. I'm not trying to bash him for spending what he spent. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to prevent people from spending that that don't have it. And most of the time, people, they're, they're not going to spend that if they don't have it. In fact, they can't. But they may want it and may just give up on it because they think it's out of their reach. When it's not. You can get that kind of performance for far cheaper than that. No matter what kind of bike you have, no matter what you're riding, whatever it is, I guarantee you, no matter what you have can be upgraded and get you somewhere close to that. May not get you all the way there to that type of speed, but I guarantee you, you can do twice, which whatever you're doing now, you can do twice that and don't have to spend twice the money. So, you know, I want to help people upgrade their bikes without going broke and um, give them the best advice that I can give them. So, if you're out there right now, you happen to be watching my video and you're one of those people and, you know, you just don't have the funds. Inbox me or whatever, or, you know, send me a message and let me know what you got, what you're working with. And uh, I'm good at figuring out how to get the max out of whatever you got. That's that's my talent. So anyway, that's that. That's all I wanted to say. That's all I needed to say. Get my butt on back to the house. Uh, I'm not going to call the day a complete bust because I'm going to throw this video up. And I also, the third video I was talking about, I had, I had, I did a Facebook live video today, earlier. So if you want to see some, uh, some riding performance, you can check that one out because this was just a run in my mouth video. But yeah, that's it. Don't y'all, don't y'all do <laughs> like Big Willie and uh, spend $2,500, basically buy a whole nother bike to make a, one bike <laughs> perform well. Yeah, that's, that's a little, that's a little backwards to me. But, uh, hmm, it is what it is. But like I said, this guy just must, he just must have cash to burn. You know, like I can say he got three, four nice bikes. So I'm not hating on him at all that's what's it but i'm i'm gonna have me a couple bikes too but i'm gonna have a couple bikes probably for the price of one of his bikes and that's just the way it is all right y'all that being said deuces we out of here